This is our epic getting ready music. Are you ready yet to start the day? Another beautiful day in Osaka and today we're heading over to America Mura. Now if you don't know what that is, it's basically a very westernized, Americanized street in Osaka and they got a lot of fashion there. They have some special sneaker stores there, consignment stores, some thrift stores. <laughs> Stopping by this place called Coco. It's this very famous curry chain in Japan. If you have not tried it when you've come to Japan, you've not been in Japan. This is like a staple. There's locations everywhere. This is what it looks like, and it's actually called Coco Ichiban, but uh, Coco is for short. This is really dope. There's some Gundam Zaku uh, collaboration right here with Coco. You guys can see some of the stuff that they have. It's all curry dishes here. Japanese curry at its finest or at its uh, most accessible. So depending on how much rice you get, if you want 100 grams less, they'll take 51 yen off your tab. And if you want more than that, they'll charge you extra. And then you have the spicy levels right here. You have to pay extra for the more spicy you go. Trying to convince Natty that she needs to get a souvenir jacket while in Japan. I think this would be like perfect for her. It's like this white and pink with a tiger on the back. I think this souvenir jacket is my favorite. It has some like thunder gods battling each other, cherry blossoms up top, and then down below it has this like tsunami going on. Anyways, this is just a random store on the side of the street, so we're gonna keep going to America Mura. There's like Sailor Moon singers in the middle of the river there. What is going on? They have an audience too. I love it though. I don't know what happened, but they transformed into a one individual bird. Finally making it to the America Mura, and I found the very first store. It's called Sheep. Basically, we walk down this entire corridor and uh, find store on store on store. So let's start off in Sheep and uh, see what they got in here. Nike SBs going on. Nike Dunks, Air Jordan 5 grapes right here. They're looking for about $300. Very, very expensive for a used pair of these. This is something you don't see very often. An Air Force One Air Jordan 9 Fusion and this like white red varsity colorway going for about $200. These are some really cool Air Force Ones. I think these are some Charles Barkley Air Force Ones and this like brown colorway going for 10,800 yen. Onitsuku Tiger Tokidoki collabs right here. Jeremy Scott Adidas right here. Don't see these too often going for 6,490 yen the store has a lot of cool vintage shirts from the states here a lot of cool stuff so if you're into the really thrifted and vintage shirt kind of aesthetic they got lots polo vintage DKNY some Calvin Klein old guests we're talking like really old guests a lot of shoes here I don't see too often they got a really good selection of Reebok Insta Pump Furies a lot of colorways and they want about a hundred bucks for these i don't see these selling for a hundred bucks like ever concord air jordan 11s size 8 for 30,490 yen these are pretty cool big nike le's size nine and a half for 7,490 yen i've never ever seen this sneaker in my entire life so that was cheap they had a lot of really old vintage pieces and a lot of sneakers you really wouldn't find anywhere else not too bad of a store the prices were pretty expensive though to be honest but we're gonna keep moving and keep walking down the street. Continuing to walk down the street, there's two things I'm noticing right now. The first thing is this massive collection of manga. The bookshelves go all the way down to the front of the store, and it's a massive, massive collection, man. It's like so much manga. It's crazy. There's like at least 2,000 books here. Oh my gosh. And then on the other side of the street, there's a small lineup for these like chicken balls, and then there's an even larger lineup 
for this right here. It's called Alice on Wednesday. I think it's some sort of exhibition or cafe. So all the manga is outside of this store called Mandarake and it's huge inside there. They got anime stuff, manga, and a whole bunch of other goodies. So we're gonna check it out real quick and see what's good. Digivice, what the heck? I didn't even know they sold those. They have more than just one, that's pretty cool. This is dope, they got a Sonic the Hedgehog piggy bank. Prices here are actually really good for these Nendroid action figures and these other figures. This stuff back home in Canada costs about like 60 to $70 depending on what you're getting. But here they're only like 20 to $30 and you don't have to pay for shipping. And the selection here is amazing. So I'm scared about how much room I'm gonna have left in my luggage. You can also save some extra money here on these action figures if the box is damaged. And Dennis's box that he got it says damaged, but it doesn't look damaged at all. So if you want to save some extra money, you can find some damaged boxes here because a lot of these are collector's items and collectors are very, very picky when it comes to their, their collectibles being in perfect mint condition. No way, they have a 7-Eleven Gundam collaboration. What the heck, they have Air Force One bear bricks and an Atmos elephant print bear brick. We've now entered Doc Martin heaven. So we're inside of Jam, another American Mira thrift store. And this Doc Martin section is insane. They have so much and Natty's small, the Japanese are small. So hopefully we can find her size because usually it's a struggle to find her size. She's been looking for a pair of white ones for a while now and she can finally find Find them in Japan. How much are they going for, babe? About 80. 80 bucks? Is that good or bad or That's what do you good. think? That's, That's good? good but oh, okay. Used, so. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, McDonald's graphic tea. Okay. Some Looney Tunes, some South Park, some Beavis and Butthead, Tasmanian Devil going on too. Old Air Jordan t shirts, like really, really old shirts going for about $45. This isn't creepy at all. Okay, those are some pretty cool jackets up there. I'm not sure what those are from. Maybe racing jackets? They have an entire section dedicated to army stuff. So camouflage galore, along with the other kind of clothing they would wear in the army. We also got a bunch of vintage windbreakers from Adidas to Nike to uh, even Reebok right here. Bunch of old jerseys here too for football. I think we found a section my dad would absolutely love. A bunch of Hawaiian shirts and flowery shirts as well. The Harley Davidson motorcycle section too. Okay. And they even have a bunch of these blank Supreme long sleeve shirts. There's no branding or anything on it, but it is a Supreme brand. How much does a classic Mickey shirt cost, babe? How much this used Mickey shirt cost? I would like to know. 7,900 yen, aka. What? More than 80 bucks. Yeah. About 80 bucks. Holy cow. 80. That's crazy. That's insane. <laughs> Alright guys, it's crowded, it's packed out here in America Mura. Next up we're gonna check out Size Osaka, a very, very popular sneaker store. They have a ton of heat here and it's all wrapped up, so I'll show you guys what they got at the store. Right at the front, they got some fly up reds, they got some 11s, they got some 6s. Ooh, I was after these for a while in Japan when they first came out and they're resell. These are reselling for like $250, damn. I wanted to get these for retail like 120 and I could not find a pair. And Natty's actually been eyeing one pair in particular, or a certain sneaker in particular this entire trip that a lot of Japanese people are wearing, the Nike Air More Up Tempo. So they got a bunch of colorways here. Natty, which colorway are you feeling the most out of, out of these? Um, I like these, but these are nice too. The white and gums? Yeah, but honestly, like it's just a good model. It looks good in a lot of suits. You like that minty blue too? Like my, Your I favorite. One, yeah. If you were to get one right now, it would be this one here. Yeah. Okay. Well, they want two hundred and like seventy dollars. I'm not buying. That's crazy in Japan, yo. That's crazy, but. 
I've never seen this colorway before. I never would have thought you would like this shoe, babe. Fila, these are like dad's shoes. Are these called mother shoes? <laughs> I have never seen this brand before. Atlantic Stars. They have a bunch of them here, like in a billion colorways, and they're pretty expensive. We are talking like $330 sneakers. These are pretty cool. These just dropped the Vans Flame Pack with the uh, flames on the midsole. I like these a lot. They want $140 here. Damn, this store is taxing out here for these sneakers, guys. They even got a lot of boost here. Ultra Boost, Yeezys, a lot of selection, but it's honestly way overpriced here. So not even worth trying to uh, buy anything. Holy cow, they got the Nike dunk high retros these are 20,000 yen so we're talking about $220 these were on sale in Canada for $60 they have a few other colorways as well they even have that digi camo one from a while ago they got the Chinese New Year's right here too and uh, ooh, yeah they got a lot of Nike Air Maxes here as well these right here are probably one of my favorite colorways of the Amore up tempo I just think it's outrageous that they want $600 for these what the heck they also have the Chicago ones they got the uh, New York City the Atlantas and the Japanese just love their Amore up tempos I've never seen such expensive pairs in my life before like guys these are sitting in America and Canada these are sitting on shelves for like $180 but they want 450 for these here. Air Jordan 6 Gatorades going for about $400. These are like on sale in America and Canada for $120 to $180. And for a good measure, here's a look at the rest of the Air Jordans that they have. A lot of heat, just a lot of uh, overpricing going on. I feel bad for you if you fall for the prices here and buy something. <laughs> So we've spent a good amount of time here so far. I think maybe the last two hours. And now we're trying to find Dennis and Colin, but we have absolutely no idea where they are and we have no way of contacting them either. So we're gonna wander the streets for a little bit and hopefully try and find them. Okay, so we've been wandering the streets for about the last 15 minutes. No luck finding Dennis or Colin at all. But our plan B was to find a Starbucks or a cafe with free Wi-Fi and that, that we found. Not Starbucks, but we found Pablo's Coffee and they have some delicious looking smoothies. So we're gonna grab this smoothie, get inside, rest a little bit, and then hit up Dennis so we can all finally meet up. We haven't seen them for like at least the last hour. Dennis and Colin have come and saved us. They were halfway home from walking back to our place and then I texted them to pick us up and they did, so shout out to them. Now we're gonna head back to the crib, but on the way back, there's a couple of stores. I think there is a Nike store and some other stuff. First, the Puma store. <laughs> Would you wear this, Puma Fenty? Hmm? Yeah. Natty absolutely loves Puma. Let's see what she found here. What's up? The Selena Gomez sneaker. This is like her signature shoe. That's cool. That's cool. We got the Puma RS Zero gear right here. Shirts, the sneakers, and they also have the RS 100. I mess with these. I like these a lot. But the RS Zero, I think they killed it. We got some Puma and Diamond Supply Co. They got like all the colorways here. They got the Puma Clyde Big Sean collaborations. I love the suede though. The suede's look really good. And they even did like a mid-top Puma suede. You don't see that very often. Love this like green colorway of the Puma suede. Nike store. Here's a look at the Air Max 270s. They got the fly nets and the regular versions. Ooh. That Volt colorway really, really pops. Oh my gosh. What else we got here? Some Air Maxes, some Vapor Max Plus. I like this colorway on these. They did it really well. Air Force One Lows and this like black and marble colorway. These are really wild. I like these a lot. Air Max 90 EZ. This looks uh, really strange in my opinion. It looks like a fake Nike sneaker. <laughs> Nike Hirashi Drifts look amazing. They really give off that Nike acronym Presto kind of vibe with that hit of neon green or neon yellow on the toe. It's just missing that pink on the back. They're playing Spanish music in this Nike store. I have no idea why. 
We're on the second floor of the Nike Osaka store now and they have a whole like Nike ID section here where you can customize some sneakers. Check this out. They have like Chicago Air Force Ones. What? These are actually really dope. Gold hits on the back, gold Air Force One tag, and these would go with the fit perfectly today too. Heading back to the Airbnb now, and we're stopping by another alleyway corridor full of stores. This place is loaded with people. If you're claustrophobic, this is the last place you want to be. They have an ABC Mart Grand Stage, so we have to go check this out. This is like the full locker champs of Japan. Air Jordan 3 Black Cement still sitting in Osaka, Japan. What the actual heck is going on here? Here's a look at the other Air Jordans that they got. Cool gray Air Jordan 11 Lows. I mess with these a lot, but not enough to justify buying them for the full retail price because, yo, Jordans are expensive. Here's a look at the Ultra Boost. They got some 4.0s in the whites. They got some 4.0s in the blacks. Haven't seen these before. These are pretty cool. Slip on vans with the checkered prints in these certain colors. $120. Ooh, I mean, you do need a replacement sooner or later. <laughs> I do. These, these are aren't too cool. bad. I like these a lot, actually. Gore-Tex canvas one right here usually 16,000 yen now it's on sale for 12,800 that's really good and if you guys don't know what Gore-Tex is basically it's a very very weather resistant and waterproof material and these use a converse react insole which means they're gonna be very very comfortable compared to your traditional converse sneaker similar to a running shoes kind of comfort so what do you think about these you love them and then uh, they also got this here too. <laughs> yes, that would. So yeah. Uh, price should be somewhere around there. Yeah. Yeah. All about about 90 bucks. No way. They have woman sizes. Shadow one sitting at this store. What? So we're gonna rest at the crib for a little bit, drop off our bags. I bought nothing today. Dennis picked up some sneakers, Natty picked up some sneakers. So I'll show you guys the sneakers at the end of the vlog. But for now, we gotta get some rest. Also, one problem is we wanna eat ramen in Japan, but Dennis is allergic to gluten. So he can't have any ramen while in Japan unless it's gluten free, which is like unheard of. So I don't think we're gonna have ramen for dinner tonight, but we're gonna have ramen for like a midnight snack. I like my shoes, fam. I like your shoes, fam. New shoes, new you. Hello, hello, hello. Dennis too. Dennis with the fresh new kicks. Okay, okay. NMB XR1 boy. Nike Cortez girl. And then we got the Nikes over here. We got the Adidas over here. So Dennis, what is Shabu Shabu? Shabu Shabu is a type of hot pot. You basically just get a boiling pot of water and then they bring you a whole plate of like veggies and mushrooms, lettuce, like rice cakes. Uh, and then you throw that all in kind of just like making your own type of broth and then they give you these really like thinly sliced meats can be beef or pork take those meats and then you go shabu shabu which is a Japanese onomatopoeia for like swish swish through that broth that you made and over like five seconds or so the meats already cooked and then you you eat it with rice and stuff so have you had this meal before or is this your first time I have had it in Toronto yeah I actually had it recently for my birthday Ooh. Um, but it was like a it was a Korean place I want to see how local Japanese shabu shabu compares to to that place in Toronto. 